Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Hades. Very special update to the game came out. has been released on Steam as well. New update being the Welcome to Hell update and the Steam release being a pretty big freaking deal because a lot of people are like, I don't want to get it if it's on Epic Game Store, so now you can get it on Steam if you want. But, hey, we're going to treat this like the beginning of the series in a way. We're going to introduce you to this game if you don't know what this is it's effectively it's a roguelike i mean literally it's a roguelike made by uh super giant games the people who brought you bastion the people who brought you transistor and spire uh spire pyre pyre not slay the spire just pyre a lot of really fantastic games and this is no exception it's got the polish of all those games brought to the fantastic uh you know mechanics of a roguelike so, you know, I'll show off basic I'll, I'll play the game, I'll explain the basics we've got a lot of stuff unlocked if you uh you know, you want to see how I got to this point. But you're wondering how I got here. Kind of a situation. You can go check out the original Hades series. But here we are. Let's take a peek and see what is new here. So this is just something you don't have to worry about. That we can make the runs harder. So effectively it adds a bunch of replay value. That such a witless, careless brat be my progeny. Alright. The general story is, uh, where's Zagreus? We want to get out of out of hell. Out of we want to get out of Hades. Unfortunately, Hades don't want us to leave, and that's effectively that's that. You know, we got to fight our way out of out of Hades, effectively. So here we got our our item, effectively. You gonna say you gonna hear me say effectively a lot because a lot of it's close to roguelikes that you may know. For you have slain the living near the surface, have you not? Mere vermin, yes, but good enough for me. But it all has its own little bit of twist to it. So, effectively, these are our items. We can pick out of these three. Our attack is obviously our left click, our, our sword swipe. There's a bunch of weapons. I got the sword, the basic one. Special. Each weapon has a special. I can show what that does. Your cast sends a blade rift. And Zagreus always has a cast, which is on the, the, uh, the right click here. Normally, it shoots out a little gem that will stick in enemies, but... If, effectively, I gotta stop with that. <laughs> I'm I'm getting annoyed with that already. But yeah, uh, so this we just got a new epic level one. You saw there was different tiers. There was the white, the, the uh, blue, and the purple. Purple being more effective. One being higher than that, being legendary. Not not very common to get those. But you know, here we are clearing our way through the rooms. Whoop! Get, get out of there. We got ourselves a little bit of a, a dash as well. We got. Some permanent progression uh, as well. I sh could show that off, and I will show that off at the end of this run as we get more currency. But I have things like a, a little bit of buffs in the sense that I have a trinket that gives me an extra 50 health. We have three death defies, which you can maybe assume what that means. It's uh, when we normally would die. Instead, we come back to life. Three times. We'll probably use them. The game is relatively unforgiving. But uh, other than that, we're trying to figure out, you know, clearly we we want to attack the enemies here. This is our basic attack. We do also have the blade rift we just got. Big ol' AoE. And we also have our special, which is that. Whoop. So you can get a bunch of uh, different builds and lovely combos. That's where I think the game shines the most is through getting the things like this, like the Daedalus Hammer, which can pretty greatly change the way that you play the game. So we can get something that changes our attack instead of multiple chop-chop. We do one big blast chop. We can do a thrust, which is our, uh, I believe our dashing. No, no, our thrust is our third attack. And then your attack fires a wave that pierces foes, dealing 20 damage. I don't know that I remember this one. All right. I mean, that's pretty cool. So that's just permanent for this whole run now. We just have that. It's pretty darn cool. So then at the end of every room, instead of going and backtracking, we cannot go backwards, which I actually really like. Uh, we get to pick at the end of a lot of rooms between a couple options. We can either go with this, which is permanent progression money. This, which is permanent progression money, but I think this is more for like cosmetic stuff throughout the uh, the base. I'm not sure on that. They And they also may have changed it in the Welcome to Hell update. Oh, so do we do 20? Yeah, we do a flat 20 damage with with our uh, our piercing slice thing, but I'm into it. Hup, hup, hup. Hup, hup, hup. But anyway, yeah, the, uh, you know, 
Art style fantastic. The music you come to love with the Super Giant is very much present. This is currency. This is main game currency, like to be used in the shops in the game. And this is a permanent health upgrade. I'll go with the permanent health upgrade. Just for the hell of it. Just for the health of it. Why the why the health not? Alright. I need to maybe use my special a little bit more. It has been changed since uh, a couple updates ago. It used to just be a... He literally used the T-pose on him. But now it's kind of like a an overhead blast. Alright, so this is going to be like a mini shop. You can get some things. Ensure a Chaos Gate will spawn ahead. I'm really into this, and I think, you know, fans of... A lot of the same roguelikes that I'm into. That's the shop. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm going to go with this. Which is... Kind of a permanent progression thing as well, but if we don't have money, you know, we don't have money. Um, but, yeah, if you're a fan of a lot of the same roguelikes I am, if, you know, if you're not not new to the channel, if you, first of all, if you're new to the channel, super, super welcome. Consider subscribing, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's, hey, I just met you. This is uh, premature, but I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and it's my job to do this. Hey, do a subscribe if you like roguelikes. Uh, but, yeah. One of the things I like about a lot of roguelikes is this. The kind of risk-reward system that is the Chaos Gate. I will show you instead of telling you. We'll pop on in and showcase it a bit here. So this is the Chaos Gate. Uh, you can get a special perk. It gives you a little bit of risk-reward. And I would say he does not know me very well. Alright. So, all of these are really nice, usually pretty huge benefits that come with a price. You have to basically prove that you don't need this to get it. For the next four, en four encounters, your life total is reduced by 40. Afterwards, you get an extra bloodstone, which is the ammunition we use for our blade rift move. For the next three encounters, you cannot earn money, but afterwards, your special, our AoE thing, our AoE used to be T-Pose move, it does an extra 60% damage. Or, for the next four encounters, you take plus 383 damage from traps, 383% damage from traps. Afterwards, the meta currency you gain is worth twice as much, effectively. This is like the least scary, um, uh, what is it, negative, <laughs> negative quirk? But you get the best, uh, not not even the best perk, though. I'm definitely going to go between these two. It might be kind of fun to go for this, since we do have the special Blade Rift. We could maybe do a build that goes with that. Okay, so all three of these are kind of meta progression, but this unlocks new weapons. There's uh, five? Currently, currently five weapons in the game, I believe. And all of them have three different forms to them. Um... Uh, that is how you will actually like change your character you know if you come to know and love that in a lot of roguelikes this game it's weird your character doesn't actually change yet you're actually getting a more diverse play style like the the weapons all interact with the uh, the abilities and modifiers completely differently the daedalus hammer that you saw that made, gave me this beam weapon has literally 100% different options for every single weapon. Uh, like, it's just, it's a completely different character, which is funny because you're, you're always playing as Zagreus, but the weapons change the character and gameplay more than, uh, you know, like a, even like a Binding of Isaac, like a like an Enter the Gungeon. Whoop, whoop. You know, obviously there's some exceptions here and there with, with a few of those games, but... All right, so this is going to be... This is uh, one of the... Oh, shoot, who is it? Is it uh, Athena? This is Athena. She's more of a defensive-based god. You can see the symbol. You know which options you're going to pick from. You can, you know, eventually learn what they have. The skull underneath means that this is going to be an elite room, making it slightly harder. But we'll get the reward, and, you know, if that's what we want, we can go for that. There's also this. It's a palm of power. It can actually upgrade one of the perks you currently already have making it stronger than it was before. I don't have a lot of perks. This is nice. I could upgrade it. I want to go for Athena. I'm willing to take on the challenge. Whoop. Willing to take on the lag. You better believe it. 
You better believe it. All right, we're good. So yeah, I am indeed playing this on Steam as well. I don't, I didn't, I didn't just restart the, uh, you know, restart the series. It's the same thing. It, it kind of is, but like, come on, Steam, new update, everything. Uh, but as a result of that, I can indeed emphatically say, your progress from Epic Game Store, if you, you know, don't want to su support it, and yeah, already, but you already got it on there. For whatever reason, I don't know. You do you. You can um, you can transfer your save file over. It it does transfer. I wish to offer the most potent of the blessings I am able to bestow. Make wise your use of this and rise toward us. All right. So we can trade our cast, which I don't think I want to do. Uh. Right. It's yeah. It's a trade. Your cast deals damage to foes in small area can deflect. I I don't know. Heroic is probably better than epic, though. I, do, I feel like I don't remember heroic. Your dash deals damage and can reflect or reduce 10% damage from foes' attacks. Obviously, this is great. Pretty plain, though. I'll go for this. The shield of light. Gives us a shield on our dash, which reflects projectiles back. Pretty darn handy. Whenever I get the option right now, I'm going to go for the keys. We'll, we'll do some exploring around the uh, the Planet temple this. after this. Security! He's Hades called the cops on us. Out. All right. Oh, there's a little bit of a heart pumping action going on too. Lead him into the blade rifts. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. I always take so much damage from the traps. We do not have our uh, bonus blade rift yet. I believe this might be the last rift. Whoop! Almost there. I'm empty. I'm empty. So that's the uh, that means that we were out of our blood gems. There's a major uh, mechanic with the blood gems that is going to be lost on this run. Again, you make a mockery. Which is the fact that normally these, you throw them, they stick in an enemy, and it lets you do extra damage. At least if you have the uh, permanent progression thing that you get really early on. There we go, we got uh, a Trophic Grasp. And that means we do have the extra one of these, we can throw four of them. Probably shouldn't be wasting them in, wasting them in that way though, where we just throw them all out. Because we do have to pick up the gem to get them again. And there's all kinds of different perks that, uh, you know, change up when they come back, how big of an area you can yet you to be in for them to come back. There's just, there's all kinds of stuff. Like I said, my favorite thing, I don't know, like, if you ever played, if you ever played Transistor and you really liked the kind of combination system and the uh, sort of drafting system that you kind of had to make your decisions on the fly uh, and tweak and change your build, this has a lot of that feeling to it. I actually, uh, I just played, uh, just played Transistor for the first time in between this episode, this first part episode of this and the last episode of the original Hades series. I actually played Transistor for the first time and I, it's so good. I knew I would like it too. I knew I would. So this is obviously, or maybe semi-obviously, HP, restore 100 health. I don't know that I need it. I do think this is the boss. I have no idea what this symbol means. I've never seen that before. I think that's from the Welcome to Hell update. In this chamber. We'll buy the power up though. Can use this. So we can either do more damage with our blade rift or more damage with our dash. I'll go with the blade rift. So another thing is we do have this Ambrosia. We have three of them. Uh, early on in the game, these little perks, quirks and things we get right here. We have the old spike collar. Got this from giving a gift to Cerberus, the big big old dog, and then I leveled it up. You level it up as you use it, making it stronger and stronger. I uh, One of the ones you can get, you can give a gift to each NPC and they give you an item. Glad you like it, mate. Thank you for helping me out with your supply, even if you fleece me with those prices. Bring. So then it can update our, our little codex here. We already got our gift. Looks like... Uh, I don't know, there's still an undiscovered NPC we got there. But there's just all kinds of stuff, all kinds of lore. Holy freaking moly. There's just so much. 
care on, mate. I wonder now, what we're gonna, what he's gonna say. You were say a thousand coins. Would you be willing to give me a ride in your beautiful boat, up river, I should say, specifically? I had to yeah. Ask. Guessing Electo. Electo. So what as you play know. the game, you will unlock more bosses that you can fight here. Oh God, you're nothing but a piece of trash. Born into all of this. And you don't even want it. You seem to have me all figured out. And here I thought we were still getting to know each other. Well, you want to know what I want? Here, I'll show you. Show me what you want. What you really, really want. I don't remember what Electo does out of the the three bosses. She's got like a rage rageo meter. She's charging, up. she's charging up. That's what I know about her. Oh, she's charging up her rage. It looks like as we hit her, she gets enraged. I can only imagine we're supposed to, yeah, get the hell away. Whoop. So we can re reflect all their crazy things as we uh, whoop, do our dashes. Ah, that's right. All the bosses spawn enemies to go with them. Okay, she's got a rage mode on. Dodge out of the AoE. Get out of here, you dirty devil. Is she in infinite rage? Is that what's going on? Whoop. She seems like she might be in infinite rage. It's like, uh, you know, the YouTube comment section on most <laughs> channels. Oh, boy. Yoink. Don't demonetize me, girl. See you later. What is this? I don't think I want it. Found you. Titan blood. Battled out of Tartarus. Okay. Titan blood. I do not know. We will find out. I'm excited to find out. You wouldn't dare. Bloop. So here we can uh, we could shop, we could get another thing. These are usually pretty temporary. I typically don't go for them, but, you know, there's some times where it's worth it. You can sell your perks as well. I typically don't do that either. The fun thing is this is always here. You always get to heal up, and that's why I didn't really go for the HP in the shop. I thought I was going to be okay. Check. Check. What? We didn't make it up all the way. Oh, there's another chaos gate. You better believe it. I can take it. Bring it on, sucker. I'm back here. Should have given him a gift. For the next three encounters, you cannot earn money. Afterwards, all the money you find is worth an extra 60%. That's pretty good. Uh, next four encounters, every time you attack, take four four heart oh my god that's terrifying but we can uh four damage we can actually just use our blade rift next three encounters you have minus 40 move speed but afterwards your t pose does 60 damage no it's between the first two this is really not that scary of a penalty and it is a really nice reward Especially because the final zone has a guaranteed super shop in it, effectively. But an extra 50% on all of our attacks is pretty darn good. Chaos flows through me. Chaos flows through me. I'm a chaotic son of a gun. We'll just use a lot of blade rifts, I guess. And, and T-poses. And dashes. That's right, we do damage when we uh, dash through enemies, too, so... Oh boy. <laughs> oh well, that one is off to the uh, off to the nether. It's definitely going to be more annoying of a uh, of a penalty than I was anticipating. I mean, we could attack, but it just it does do four. Seems like it's usually not worth it. I don't know if we're going to have to fight the mini boss like this or not. That could be a problem. Trying to dash through all these to reflect them. I'm out. 
Ooh, yikes. <laughs> I don't know Let's about... See. I don't know about my decision. Here's the thing. If we go in here, we won't have to do a fight. And it will tick down one of these for us. The problem is we do not get this and we don't have a lot of money. This isn't a good idea. This... I don't... I don't know. I don't know if this is... Smart. Let's see what's up for sale. Oh, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh-oh. It doesn't count. It Didn't it used to count? I think it used to count. Oh, it's the barge of Oh, death. no. Oh, congratulations. I played myself. The good news is this is a much smaller zone. I feel like uh, we'll have better luck with our blade rifts in here. We should maybe spread them out a little bit more, though. Hip, hip. All of this so we can attack just a little bit more. Oh a little bit harder. It'll be worth it if we don't die. We have three death defies, like I said. That means we can die three times without technically dying. We will be brought to super low HP, though. Oh. Got to get the crystals first. They do grant some immunity. And there is a environmental knockback damage. You can knock enemies to the wall, do a little bit of stun off of them. But enemies that have that yellow bar above their head, you got to clear out that yellow HP bar first before you can mess them around, interrupt their attacks, everything. Oh, you yeah, dirty dog. Get the gem, man. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Wall slam, wall slam. But yeah, when you only got one, oh my god, one enemy left, you can truly just cheese him. Usually. All right, Ares. In the name of Hades. Attacks inflict doom. That makes it so after a certain amount of seconds, they will take a big old blast. Your dash creates a blade rift where you stand. I don't really feel like we need to replace. After slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals 187% more damage. I, you know what? I like the attack inflicts doom. It's me or them. I, it does a lot. That being said, <laughs> we can't attack for two more rooms. Two more rooms. We're in a in some uh, some turmoil. Pretty big room. The reflect is just godlike for us right now. Alright. Get all our gems. Do not jump away. Do not jump away. We cannot be by them when they die. Because I believe they uh, they explode all a uh, junk rat or what, you know, any. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I just say? All a uh, junk rat or literally any explosive based enemy in any game ever. Stay away, stay away. Stay away, stay away. Got anything to uh, heal me? Instant. Gain 27 shadow. We could trade some gold for that. Slain foes have a plus 15% chance to drop health items. I, for three encounters, I'm going to say yeah, because I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried. This is our final one we have to do without getting HP back. Or uh, without being able to attack. I, shouldn't have <laughs> I had to try. I just wanted to feel it. I wanted to feel pain. I need to know that I'm alive. So it could either go for money. Or we could go for Dionysus, which is usually more of like a poison or uh, how, what, what would you say? Like currency management, currency management or uh, or poison kind of boons. I think I'll go for the money. Let's get out of here. I don't need to party. I want money. Oh, God. Alright, I thought this was the mini boss. I guess the um oh, 
There's usually a mini boss like halfway through the zone. I guess the um, whoop, murder murder elevator type thing is the takes the place of the mini boss though maybe. Woo! God, I can't wait to be able to press my left mouse button again. Because we're doing pretty solid considering, you know? Stay away, stay away. Throw and stay away. That should be good. Alright, we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Your attacks deal 49% extra damage. More importantly, they don't freaking kill us. This is tough. We could get the pawn of power. We do have a lot of money. I'm gonna go for this. We got we, and by a lot of money, I mean we got like a normalish amount of money. There should be health here, probably. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Here's the fee. All right. Delicious. Tax inflict doom. We can make it so they do 130 after blank seconds. We don't know how many. Uh, we could upgrade the Blade Rift, but there's kind of like some diminishing returns on it to try to incentivize you to have a more varied build. Uh, as you put more and more points into it, they do less and less. You can see it does one dam an extra one damage per hit instead of an extra two damage per hit. I'm going to go with the Attacks of Doom. Took care of those for you, mate. Is there some kind of... Is there money around here? Some of the pots have money, but usually I think they have a very clear visual to them. I believe this is our boss. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mess with me if I were you. I would mess with me. Hup, hup. So we can get the doom on him. You can see, yeah, we're we're ripping through him. Ooh. Why did I throw those? He's impervious. So then he spawns uh, groups of these little suckers. I believe we just wasted some free health we got. Okay. So then the ads are gone, right? Oh, we got it. All of our gems are in the freaking lava lake. Yep, 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 yep. All right, run. Now he spawns even more hydras. One down. Want my gems back, though. I believe each head does a has a different attack that it can pull from. Like there's a set of different uh, different attacks they could have. Some of them spawn whoop, spawn ads like this one over here spawn ads the green boy. Okay, we got we got some uh, HP drops here. Yeah, we got all kinds of HP drops. That purchase we made is coming in handy. That extra 15% business. I kind of want to get my gems wherever the hell they all are. Where, wherever the Hades they are. Okay. This is, in my opinion, by far the hardest part of the boss. Right here. Can deflect that back pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Dash on through, do that damage. Throw, throw. I'm empty. Okay. I feel like my gems are out somewhere. Hmm. We still have not lost any of our lives yet. Do that. I'll just, I'll just pick up the food. <laughs> we good, we good. As soon as we get through this phase, I have no worries, and I think we are already through the hardest part of this phase. You know, there's less to deal with. It's kind of like a weird uh, middle heavy difficulty. It's all all uphill from here. It's all the easy version of the adage from here. Retrieve this. There you are. Even if we get hit, I'm not too concerned. We can dash through him, do all kinds of damage. He was a pushover today. That 49% damage up. Nothing to scoff at. And don't come back. And don't come back. Can't you see we don't want you here? Ugh, you bit the neighbor. Mom says you're not allowed in this house anymore. No paradise awaits you, boy. Too real. Um, don't want to sell anything. 
Yep. I'm a gambling boogeyman, and no, I don't play fair. I think we don't... Me up. I don't know. We don't have to pick the Chaos Gate, right? We don't want to. Okay, so it's, it doesn't take us all the way up to the little marker because I see. That's what the outside That would like. imply that we were being taken right to the boss. Down we go. One of the perks you have or you can get, or the tr trinkets you can get the underworld. from this guy is that it doesn't cost anybody to come in here. And I believe they show up more frequently. I should have given them a gift. I don't know. We'll save it. After the next three encounters, all sl slain foes and toss an inferno bomb at you. But afterwards, the shadow's worth so much more. Yikes. For the next encounter, three encounters, you take plus 48% damage after your attack does an extra 53% damage up. I'm going to do that because I really don't want to play with inferno bombs everywhere. It's, it's a scary penalty. It doesn't last very long. I do feel like there's a... This always happens. As soon as we enter Elysium, I'm just... It's like a little, uh... Power, or not power spike. No, there's a... Honestly, there's a power spike, too. I do find that there, this zone is noticeably more challenging. By quite a bit. But uh, I meant lag spike. Just an interesting tidbit. I, I do feel like the, uh... The difficulty goes up quite a bit. There's a lot of respawning enemies. There's the shield version of these guys that I find to be uh, dinkles. Really don't like them. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I haven't got any more boons that upgrade my uh, my blade rifts. I mean, they're still, like, they're really good. Oop. And that's why I'm going to throw them backwards. They're really good. But we could make them better. Bye bye, baby boy. On my authority. We got it. Okay. Also, first of all, restore fifteen percent health when you enter a chamber. I'm gonna say Just yes I because I need to. I really want to make it through these, and I'm going into a very challenging room. Quote unquote, could be a very challenging room. Uh, so basically, this is like a, a dueling gods room. You can pick one, you will get both of them, but whichever one you don't pick will be mad at you and they will fight you. Athena's is so annoying. So I'm going to pick her so that we don't have to fight her. Special is stronger and it can deflect. Death Defiance restores more HP than usual. Replenish one use. We have a lot of them. Oh, it just it when it said replenish, it means replenish. It doesn't mean give you an extra. But you shall find responses to such acts to be the definition of consistency. Okay. I was hoping we'd get four death defies. All right. So now, uh, yeah. Ares is mad. Even though he's helping us, he's also mad at us. Stupid vengeful gods. So yeah, we can. Not stand in those areas <laughs> where it's scary and red. Athena's is really annoying. It, uh, it, she makes enemies invincible, like, really frequently. And it's so, so annoying, especially on, um, on this zone because the jelly, the little jelly guys that spawn out, you need to kill them quickly. We're gonna maybe die here. It's okay. I, I knew what I was getting into. Whoop. I knew what I was getting into when I picked the damage penalty thing so that I could get extra damage. It's all good. But yeah, so these spawn, you have to kill them after a certain amount of time. Otherwise, they will respawn back into the full-fledged enemy. Athena's such a jerk because she can give them a shield and make it so you basically can't kill them. It is really annoying. Let us continue on. Whoop. All right, your call turns you into an impervious blade rift. Your attack special and cast deal 10% more damage. Your doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Okay, we could do that. What's better? This is just all around. It's like, it's basic, but it's, you know, it's worth it. This is Aphrodite. 
It's an elite one. It's okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an elite gamer. <laughs> so I can. Oh God, no! What have I done? That the time for additional fun has arrived. Oh boy. Yes, my favorite pastime: getting butchered by a giant double-bladed axe, and sometimes trampled. This mini boss. You have much to enjoy. In I have a lot of problems with. <laughs> Yep, immediately hit. And we have to do it while taking bonus damage. So that's, uh, oh, that's fun. Let's get in there and do a little bit of it. Hit or so, so we can get that doom damage on. I have a sneaking suspicious so we're going to use a death defy here. Sneaking suspicion. Where you at, mister? Okay. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Loser, you hit the wall. Final one of that. Three does a big old dash at you. I want to lure him back into these attacks if we can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Weak? Shut up. How dare you tell the truth on my YouTube channel? Boink. Oh, you jerk. I put you in the wall. Yep. All right, 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 all right. Oh, you son of a gun. Son of a goblin of a man. Yoink. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost. Get that doom on him. Keep that doom on him. We did it. We did it. Uh, we didn't die. Oh, we didn't die. So glad. Darn right I did. And I didn't even break a sweat doing so. <laughs> right? <coughs> Kappa. Look at this. See? I can't be child friendly. fair qualities in him and me. All right, your special does more damage and inflicts weak. We haven't been using it, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't. Call it fires a seeking projectile that does 2,500 damage, which is a lot of damage. And uh, charm duration. Call is effectively an ultimate that we don't have one yet, and uh, we can charge it up over time, and then we can do a big old, big old special thing. I'll do this just to kind of show it off a bit. I find it... They're usually like... They're usually pretty useful in general on normal rooms, but they're like really, really useful on bosses. They're useful in rooms that take a long time because you can either uh, you can use one charge of it. We have one charge right now, or you can uh, hold on to it and do a super blast if you fill up all of the meters down there, which is usually the practical application of it. But you know. You can't really expect to get to that point unless you're fighting a boost. Get on my side. Well. Thought he said Rihanna. It's Rihanna! Alright. When did Hades recruit Rihanna? Word reaches us that you've come very far indeed, nephew. Striking distance from the surface. You just keep at it like that, and with our help. We'll have you out of there for sure. All right. Special does more damage. Knocks foes away. Gain a random assortment of... Any... Rewards are worth more. Uh, This is... You know, this is good. Like, it's really good. We're just not... Just because we're not using it doesn't mean we should not be using it. I kind of want to do this so we don't die. Waves, right, Uncle? For safekeeping. I feel like it'll help keep me alive. All right, so Daedalus Hammer versus Hermes. Hermes being um, another thing that's, he's not like quite like a normal god. He's the messenger of the gods. And he gives you the choice between three perks that are usually very movement based. A lot of fun, but Daedalus Hammer is like, are like the most fun, most inter interesting rewards in the entire game, in my opinion. And I think the opinion of a lot of people. They're the thing that really 
they might make it, you might get a perk that's like, instead of swinging your sword, you actually do a backflip. You know, I mean, not quite like that, but honestly, maybe. I don't know, I haven't played in a little while. And uh, it just makes for the most unique runs. Because you might get something where it's like, oh man, getting that perk with this combo? I've never seen that before, that's really cool. And that's kind of what the Daedalus Hammer's about. Makes that stuff happen a lot. These suckers gotta gotta go. I'm empty. Woo! <laughs> Stop it! I hate it! I hate it! Nah. All right. Data list. Hold attack to strike rapidly, dealing 20 base damage per hit. Special hits a wider area. Special hits twice in a smaller area and doesn't knock foes away. I'm gonna do this. Cause I had a feeling. Ooh hoo! It combos. Is it annoying sound wise? Absolutely. Is it visually amazing? Absolutely. Just oh my god. If you're not sold on Hades, get your head out of your rump. Oh. <laughs> does this count as so that does not apply doom. We're getting shot at from afar. Alright, alright, alright. Don't you do it. Oh, he came back. Who could have seen it coming? Okay, I do want to get up in their face because obviously we do like buku damage if we actually, you know, hit the enemy with our sword. Alright. But yeah, the, the, just the way that the Daedalus hammers can interact is just like some of my favorite parts of this game. Okay. A lot happening here. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Oh, shoot. Are we... Is this the boss coming up? Fingers crossed we got ourselves a way to heal. You know that saying, don't be hasty, boss? That comes from me, I swear. A little way to stave off competition masquerading as the wisdom of a sage. Those stupid mortals will buy anything. <laughs> can dash two more times in a row. After you dash, gain 100% movement speed, or you have a 20% chance to dodge. I'm gonna go with the dodge. I mean, I'm so worried about becoming uh, dead right now. I know we have three death defies, but I don't want to use them. Until I, like, literally have to. Oh, Muriel. Where is some jelly beans? Okay, okay, okay. Throw, throw, throw. Get in there, get the jelly bean. Get in there, get the jelly bean. Get in there, get the jelly bean. Okay. I mean, I want to, yeah, I want to do my sword. Oh boy. Yeah, we did like a, a lot of damage to one poor soul. Don't know who it was. All right. Shop, probably a good idea, but it sounded like there was a thing over here too. Oh, it's just this. <laughs> yep. All right. permitted in this chamber no urns permitted in this chamber oh, oh he's just saying because he I got you you goofball all right we can only get one thing I'm kind of leaning towards the max life because it also does heal up our current life that's doing business because ideally I don't want to you know kick the bucket and I think this is our final, yep, our final boss of the area. What hope of you, monster, versus the blessed bonds of brotherhood? Best not belittle him, King. He is more powerful than he appears. We must remain alert this time. 
Yeah, you do. Oh, I am perfectly alert right now, Asterius. And were I still alive, I would be positively salivating at the thought of running through this pustule with my spear, or whichever means I had available. Now let's go. Who are you calling a pustule? Pustule? Oh, so yeah, now we gotta fight two people at the same time. Ornstein, small son of a gun, looking mother up. Oh. All right, this is a problem. The good news is, oh my god, we do have the ability to charm, and it does actually work. Eh, as well as you would think. That's kind of like the really good thing we got going for us right now. Oh, I, I got him caught in the, uh, oh no. He got caught in the charm. Oh, you rude man. But yeah, like, oh, you wouldn't think they would let you get away with that. The whole charm business. It seems too OP. Excuse me. Oh, man, I was hoping to get the Minotaur. Ooh, here comes our first, uh, first death. I'm feeling it. Oh. oh, you bad boy. You bad boy. Oh, man. We do have to... It looks like we have to charm the Minotaur. Theseus will not be... He will not be charmed by our ways. Oh, death defy. That's our first death defied. That's okay. I always... I feel like... Oh, boy. Last time I played, that was... Oh. That was seemingly what always happened. Is getting the death defy on this uh, this fight. I would always lose my first here. All right, sloppy but done. If we had more HP, we would have been fine. I don't know what this. Oh, this is Ambrosia. The hell's the other thing now? So there's nectar. What was the other thing we got? Titan. Titan blood. Deep within the unfathomable pits of Tartarus lie the remains of Titans, who once ruled all between heaven and earth. Few traces of them uh, yet, yo, yet remain of them due to the thoroughness of with which they were dispatched in the war, which they are answering the gods. And yeah, those scars exist. And terrible power rests was in. It does not say what they do. We'll figure that out after. That's why I was looking. I'm imagining they're just some more meta currency. You know exactly where. Uh, okay. I feel like we don't need to do any of that. We don't really want to. I, I might want to spend some money. Can if there's something that. I. I don't think so. I, can do I don't this. think so. I can do this. I can do this. On to the final zone? Question mark. Unless they added something. It, it, this zone is uh, quite different. So this is our little hub world. That's quite a stash there, Charon. Got all kinds of stuff we can buy here, and we are looking Sick for details. one path. Only one of these paths are correct. Um, uh, I'll start with this. I don't know if you can get it on the first one. Sometimes there's uh, okay, yeah. First, first room in every zone gives a little bit of problems. I feel like. Whoop! Gotta get used to that. Again. But yeah, so you can find the right zone really, really quickly, and you can then decide to explore more. It seems like it sometimes is a good idea, sometimes isn't. Bye. But it's a bunch of tiny rooms, and then at the end of each path is one very large room. There's certain ways you can abuse that kind of aspect of the, uh, the floor system for sure. Like, healing based off of every room, you know? You, you're about to go through a bunch of rooms. We were missing a lot of health, and it was... We got that one that was, you know, heal... Heal 15... 15% every time you enter a room. That obviously would be like, really easy to quickly get the max effects of. 
Oh, rats. Literally. Oh, poison. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It's another unique thing about this. Wow. I did it again. This floor. I'm trying to get up there. I couldn't. His dang body was in the way. If you get poisoned, you have to run to one of those things to put him out. Put out the poison. Can be really annoying. In the wrong, uh, wrong setup. You are frustrating me, my friend. Much better. Okay. Tipo's out of there. So that was obviously the wrong path. But we got our HP up. I think, um, I think going for some money is not I a guess. bad idea. There's a sell thing there. I don't know that we have any perks we want to get rid of, though. We'll take a, we'll take a peek. Worth giving up. I don't think anything is worth the price that that's offering. I don't know. I feel like... Oh, boy. I feel like maybe the price is... Sh sh the reward should be higher. Maybe I don't understand things, but, like... it. I know it seems counterproductive, but I almost seem like it should offer you more than they're worth. Because you can't really reliably cheese getting a bunch of boons, so it's not like that's a problem. I feel like you'd have to... Not yet. You'd have to offer, like, a lot for it to be worth it because there's just not that many shops i would only use it right now if there's like an amazing boon but the thing is you don't even know what the boon is going to be you know from the shop you, there, it, you can buy something from aries but you don't know which thing it is oh you're saying we well, could just leave it might be a good idea because we're at full health Even fuller health. Be useful. Oh, what do I do? I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more. Chance it. One more. One more and then ditch. Unless, you know, we get some kind of special uh, mini shop thing that entices me way more. But just because it was Ares, I thought maybe we would get something that will benefit our uh, our blade rip. Okay. Don't you touch me, you dang dirty rat! Should help keep me going. All right. 20% movement speed for three areas. That We might be able to keep that for the final boss fight. That's one encounter. Please tell me this is the final encounter. It's the final encounter. I. This actually could have been genius. And now if we do get to... If we do still have the movement speed booster... Uh, for the final, after this year, and it doesn't go away, like, I, I'm i pretty sure it won't. Um, obviously, we're not going to go to another zone. Whoop. So far, so fine, though. Yikes. So far, so fine. There's, there's a couple hits. There's a couple hits. If we, like, reliably restored a decent, like, a really decent amount in between each room, I'd be a little bit more, a little bit more tempted to explore. Not bad, though. I think that was worth it. Hades. Special inflicts doom after slaying a foe. Your next uh, attack or special deals more damage. There's not a lot of adds in the final fight. There's definitely some. I think that we'll get more most value out of that. And we have $122. I believe that's exa the, what the, co the currency is called. I believe it's called dollars. Could check the other passengers before I go. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. The prince persuades the underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. Well, 
see you, boy. It is bribery. All right. Final boss. Cross your everything. He's a doozy. Sorry, I spoiled. It's a he. One last bit of business to take care of, then. Hello, Papa. Come all this way again to fall to me. Would that you paid me such respects back at the house. Okay, Papa. <laughs> I have not fought you in a while. I don't quite remember your patterns. <laughs> oh, we hitting hard. Hitting harder, hardly hitting. Hitting hard. Whoop up. Up, 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 up. Whoo. Okay, we gotta save our special. I know where you are. Then tell me. Be right there. Okay. So far, so all. Oh. So fine. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Probably should have waited and just burned down the boss with our big old special move. But at this point, yeah, I will save it for his uh, spoilers. <clears throat> Second phase. Oh boy. So glad we have some death defies. Maybe we won't save it the second phase. Oh god, there is a boss damage cap. I like the sound of that. Yoink! Aphrodite has no jurisdiction here. Doesn't she though? Oh, not, not against you, is that what you're saying, Papa? Oh, bite me. Oh, bite me. I'm taking a lot of damage now. Help me. Oh, we're getting hit by the beams. No! Papa, papa, papa! Alright, 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 alright. He's gonna explode if we don't. Duh! I wonder if the cheese is still here that I found before. That's one death to five. We got one more. I don't know. We might not do it. Oh, jeez. We might not do it. Does it still exist? Uh, th we, I don't know. I don't want it. I don't know. It doesn't look like it exists still. I, uh, I did a bad thing. Ooh, that's nice. It actually worked for a smidgen there. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. All right. Don't you do it, mister. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Da, 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 da. I thought he was supposed... Oh. Just stay there. Just stay there. I thought he was supposed to break these. You know, maybe we do just want it. Do one. I, 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 I. Oh, he walked into it. Dummy boy. No. Woo. I am not stressed. You're stressed. Oh, oh, Papa. No! We were so close to getting our call, which would have maybe done it. If we didn't lose that death defy on the mini boss, oh, damn you, father. we totally would have done it. Oh, Papa. 
Hi. It's fun watching the pool of sticks, you know? The ripples in the blood and everything, and sometimes somebody pops out of there like you. House staff and guests of honor, and no one else. I sign them in and help make sure they have a pleasant stay. Well, sign me in then. Oh, man. It's got like a super exclamation point. Your Tartar's Fountain Chain. Oh! Cost zero. Yeah, we'll just make it then. The underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Ah. So bedroom decor, underworld renovations, chambers may contain an infernal trope. Oh, there's these have gen actual real gameplay changing uses now. Fate list of minor prophecies. Fate's reward whoever whomever moves things along. I fate sure? of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. We'll... We'll see. Chambers may contain urns with... Ah, yeah, all these... These used to be go. just in the I'll game. Look out for this when I'm in the area. And now they're behind a paywall. Exchange keepsakes between regions. You could... Yeah, you used to be able to do that all the time. So these actually have value to them now, like, legitimately. <laughs> Hello. So Chris, I heard Lord Hades served you with a pact of punishment. You must be very proud. Yeah. What, you mean the gigantic infernal contract reserved only for extraordinary circumstances? Yeah, I suppose I'm pleased that Father's gone to all that trouble just for me. Well, when you're finished being smug about it, know that all of us are bound by its terms. You can force a lot of things to change if you're not careful. A lot of things such as how you refuse to reason with your positively charming sisters, Meg. The extreme measures condition. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Do you have any idea what you're talking about? What? Anything for you, Meg. Can we still dash through the wall? We can still dash through the wall. Oh, we can dash through the door. Can't dash through the wall anymore, though. All right, well. Hey, that must be the fated list. Let's take a peek the at this. The betting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies. But it was preordained. Oh, no, not this determinism thing Is again. there no escape? Ooh. It's bound to happen, really. Son of the god of the dead, so I'll someday break free from the realm when he was born. Oh, so that's uh, us leaving. So these are just like in-game little achievements. That's kind of nice. Little in-game achievements that we can, you know, do a little bit of special special things to get a little bit of special rewards. I'm all for that. I can do and anything. here is the permanent progression. We have like a metric booty load of sh shade that we can use and you can use the keys to unlock new things to uh, to upgrade faded authority one randomly chance to randomly alter the reward for the next chamber that's kind of nice but we don't have the keys for that uh damage from behind each rank gives you bonus damage on enemies with the whamp in them thick skin olympian favor plus one chance to find rare effects plus one chance to have epic effects let's just put a bunch into that 25 percent extra chance to find epic boots seems really is. useful no way all right so that is that can take a peek maybe we can see if we'll have the ability to upgrade another I I or get bow. a new weapon what are the limits so this costs power? the uh the blood stuff now we have Currently at 13. My aspect unlock strong. that one. I can't. You can maybe like yeah, unlock all of them, nice. it seems. Great for the aspect of Eris. Yeah, let's uh let's just whoop. Game did not like that. <laughs> Which is okay, because it's at the very end here. But um yeah, it looks like we have enough to unlock everything pretty much here. I think the game doesn't like because I'm unlocking so many things at the same time. We already have all those. And then, yeah, no, uh, yeah now we have all these. So yeah, each each different aspect is effectively kind of a different weapon within it. This just gives you bonus move speed as you upgrade it more. You can also use the blood stuff to uh, make the effects of that weapon stronger. And, you know, we'll probably try out either a different sword or something next time. I don't quite, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But the game is so much fun. All set. Ooh, is this the... Uh, Yes, the Poseidon one. Did we have the Poseidon one the whole time? We might have had the Poseidon one the whole time. Nah. 
But anyway, that is going to do it for today. If you like this series, consider subscribing for more. Check out my channel for uh, all kinds of roguelikes and more every single day. Uh, yeah, share the series with your friends. You want to get into Hades. I, uh, I'm excited to be back. Hopefully we can, you know, hopefully the series does quite well and we can play it for quite a while because honestly, I love this game so much. It is such a polished roguelike. So glad it's on Steam now that people can get more excited about it because uh, like it feels like whenever a game's launched on the epic game store and it's going to come to steam it's kind of like a soft launch effectively here's hoping that the game pops off because it's so good really really worth your time link in the description if you want to pick it up yourself thank you thank you like if you like don't if you don't <laughs> comment if you have something to say don't if you don't i don't know uh, i'm i'm retromation I got a Discord, I got a Twitter, I got a Twitch, I got the, all the things. It's on the description. Who freaking cares? Go, go look at it if you care. Don't if you don't. See ya next time. Bye bye